Boxing now, Canadian Dave LeBlanc moved into the quarterfinals of the Ryan and Nevio Contender Junior Middleweight Series after a difficult majority decision win over Jamaican debutant Nico Yeo at the Chinese Benevolent Association Auditorium on Wednesday night. Wednesday night's clash between Jamaica's Nico Yeo and the Canadian Dave LeBlanc resembled a wrestling match as both boxers clinched each other consistently throughout the five-round contest. It was the debutant Yeo who took LeBlanc out of his comfort zone by attacking the Canadian with overhead and powerhouse body shots which caught the attention of LeBlanc's corner. Yeo continued to confuse LeBlanc with his wayward style of boxing and the Canadian was unable to land any effective punches as Yeo dominated the first two rounds. With Yeo slowing down after losing much of his energy in the first two rounds, this allowed LeBlanc to take charge of the fight. He landed more effective body shots, forcing Yeo to clinch for his life. As the fight continued, referee Owen Nelson was kept busy separating both fighters. The fifth and final round turned out to be the decider for the contest, as referee Nelson deducted two crucial points from Yeo and one from LeBlanc for continuous holding. The Canadian prevailed at 47-45 and 48-44 on two judges' cards, and the third judge scored the fight a tie at 46-46, giving LeBlanc a majority decision win and a place into the quarterfinals. We're going to go back on the drawing table. When we go back, we're going to think about, uh, about that, and we're going to work on something else. All right, we definitely got to find solutions because the Jamaicans are bigger boys than, than us, and, um, and if we get into a fight where somebody wants to hold on to us, well, like, like we showed tonight, we can't get out of there. For Yeo, inexperience worked against him, but he felt he has learned enough going forward. It, right now, it helped me a lot because I'm going to move on to bigger things. I'm going to keep training the same way because one defeat don't mean say, they lose the rest of their life. No, I'm going to come again. And this time when I come back, it's going to be much better. With the series now locked at 3 all, LeBlanc joins fellow Canadians Frank Cotroni and Phil Rose, as well as Jamaicans Richard Frog Holmes, Tetsi Davis and Sakima Mullings in the next round of the competition. Meanwhile, in the amateur matchups, Jamaica and Canada shared one win each. Canada's national welterweight champion, 23-year-old Joshua Fraser, outboxed national champion Damian Williams in their three-round bout. Unlike the professionals, these two amateurs produced a spirited fight as the spectators were on their feet throughout the contest. The lanky Fraser landed several combinations from the opening bell, which rocked the army boxer. In the second round, Fraser caught Williams with two straight rights, followed by an uppercut as Williams tumbled against the ropes and he was given the standing eight count. Fraser continued to dominate the fight and after three rounds, he scored a unanimous decision win over Williams. He was coming in a little, a little crazy, a little wild, and uh, I could see everything, so, um, seen everything slipped everything and I just started working off of that eventually um, basically my game plan was just to keep touching stay as close as I could but I never found that range the whole fight to be honest I wanted to be closer than that in the second about national middleweight champion Jonathan Hansen scored a split decision victory over Canadian champion Jake Douse Hansen used his long reach and counter punching to land some telling blows to Douse in the first two rounds however in the third and final round Hansen showed that he was lacking fitness allowing the Canadian to take charge, but the Jamaican did enough to come away with the victory. Stamina, you understand? Because I, I, I didn't get a good chance to warm up, so he caught me cold. So he was getting off the punches faster than me. So I, I had to start up real quick. Um, so it was, it was kind of hard, so that's what we should definitely work on. Um, the stamina and speed. I got too tired. Uh, other than that, I don't know, he's a talented boxer, he's strong. I thought I could hurt him with my body shots and my head shots, but I couldn't. I'm not used to fighting guys that much older than me. Uh, yeah, he's a great boxer, respects to him.